the inability to adequately replenish weaponry such as missiles and artillery shells for Ukraine is revealing how defense industry and consolidation has put the country and our allies at risk. There has been two decades of mergers and acquisitions, M&A, activity that has resulted in just six contractors possessing the lion's share of Pentagon military equipment spending, in contrast to about 50 firms in the 1990s that would compete for big contracts. These large defense companies are like auto manufacturers in that they produce few of the things they use and subcontract the bulk of the work out. The defense industry shrank from 69,000 vendors in 2016 to 55 in 2021. These companies, these small companies form a choke point for the defense industry as they face labor and component shortages. The Pentagon is increasingly dependent on an ever shrinking number of contractors for critical equipment. This reliance will hamper any effort to quickly ramp up production. The Pentagon and antitrust officials have been too passive in stopping industry consolidation in the defense sector. There has been little academic analysis of consolidation in the defense industry.